Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your old buddy T-Dog. Today I am here to uh, let y'all know that there has been a change of plans, a uh, change of schedule or whatever you want to call it. Uh, last night I showed y'all the finale of a la carte and I told y'all that I had had problems with the suspension. Well, a good friend and brother of mine, Joey Long, asked me a question. He said, are those wheels glued on? Because it looks like the rears are in the front. And I said, no, the suspension's messed up. I was I was already not in a very good mood after, after having a spill and a rough day. Okay, so I just I just let it go. Then when I posted the pictures of it, I got to looking, Joey was right. There wasn't a problem with the suspension. There was a problem with me. I let it get to me and everything uh, yesterday. And because of that, I didn't look at size difference in the tires. If I had looked, I would have seen it, and then there wouldn't be any problems. So, uh, first of all, I apologized to Joey for just blowing him off, and I let him know that he was right. Joey, I appreciate you, brother. So, I told Mrs. T-Dog at about 1.30 this morning, this was driving me crazy after looking at the pictures, knowing what I'd done wrong, it was driving me crazy. So I told her, I said, I need to go in there and fix that. And she said, okay. So I come in here, I switched the wheels and tires around and got it all back the way it's supposed to be. And somehow, some way, before I took the pictures of it, which I took more pictures of it, it looked better from the side. But if you turned it around, the... The right front wheel is leaned out like that pretty good bit too. And the left rear wheel is leaned out like that. And it shows in the pictures and I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. But also I did something in the process, not realizing what I'd done. In the box stock build off, no curbsides are allowed. Because of some problems I had with fitment issues yesterday, which I did have fitment issues with the, the nose and the hood. Well, because of that, I glued the hood on along with the nose together. What that did was make it a curbside. Although there is a built engine inside, unless you turn it over, you couldn't see it. So I told Jim, uh, fellow admin, I told him, I said, uh, I'm taking it, I'm disqualifying myself. Uh, I will no longer be in the build off with it. And I was going to quit at that. But it bugged the heck out of me because I'm not a quitter. And uh, I was feeling like a coward and all this other stuff, which I was assured that I wasn't, but that's the way I felt. So, new plan. I am going to build a box stock uh, kit for the build-off, a legit one. That was factory sealed until I unsealed it a few minutes ago in front of uh, two of our admin, actually three. So it was verified, it's a brand new kit. Uh, I'm gonna do a box opening uh, video here. I thought y'all might enjoy that. So here we go. This 
will be my entry for the box stock build off on Facebook group Model Car Mafia established 2018. I think this one is going to be a lot of fun. This is a Mobius kit, so it has a bunch of extra parts and everything else. But we're going to dive right in and see what is in here. Got some killer box art. Okay. First off, we have the body. This thing is nice and, oh man, this thing is nice and clean. No rough edges or nothing. I don't see any mold lines at all. I'll look further when I get ready to get it prepped for paint. And here we have the decal sheet. It's not a very big one, but it is still cool in its own right. I'm thinking I'm possibly going to go with the two hot uh, decals because the car will either be red or the flaming or fiery orange, whatever orange I have. But I'm thinking red with those decals. I think that'll look killer. But as you can see, there's some really cool decals right there. I mean, some really nice ones. A gas attack I'll use on another gasser somewhere. We have the glass, which is sealed in the bag. You don't have to worry about tire marks on these bad boys. Mobius has got it going on, y'all. Beautiful glass. I didn't want to take the clears out of the plastic for obvious reasons, but I don't care to open up the chrome tree and we'll look at it together how's that i haven't done a video like this in a very long time and i've been wanting to do one this is a perfect time to do that okay and i'll hold it up so y'all can see it better too okay got some cool stuff on it look at these valve covers y'all it says Chevrolet, and they're tall valve covers, I think. They're tall enough, yeah. They're, they're tall. Beautiful chrome on that thing. Matter of fact, I may have to get my... I may have to do some stripping. Dull it down just a little bit. I got the bright Coke chrome over here. It may just have to get some of that. I hope y'all got a good look at that. Okay, now we're going into the engine. Looks to be a small block with probably a three-speed or a four-speed transmission. Single carb, this right here. But somewhere in there is a blower. Oh, yeah, that's a sweet little small block. Sweet little small block. I showed you all everything. It's your typical Chevrolet small block with ram horn manifolds. This would build up into a really nice engine just this way, too, for a really nice build. But this one's a gasser. Been a while since I've done a gasser. And then there's the four-speed transmission or possibly a three-speed. Single carburetor, a little breather. Now, this kit does not come with a stock hood. So, there's the hood. There looks to be the radiator. The uh, shroud for such radiator. I know I'm being silly. 64 tail panel. Cars of 65 on the box. And your radiator support and your firewall. All done very nicely. Look at the detail on that tail panel. I mean, it's just really nice. We have door panels all the way to the back. And as you can see, these are probably what you would call racing panels. There's, I mean, they're just plain and simple. It's a race car. That's why it's going to be a gasser. 
that and I think they're cool. You got you some wheel backs. Uh, these are probably, that's part of the wheel as well. A couple of horns, water pump or no, no, nope. That's your brakes. See, this is, this is Mobius for you. 65 tail panel. But there's only one grill. So I'm not going to put a 64 tail panel on a 65 grill. There's your steering column. Hood hinges. I don't do those. I'm thinking these are probably going to be seat backs. Here's your pedals and your back seat delete there's the dash very nice this is probably front this is probably rear of the splash pans would be my guest here we have the floorboard interior tub slash chassis uh, up next we have two of them two really nice slicks pie crust Slicks, come on, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Some really sweet front runners. Okay, put them back in there. I believe them's tail lights. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Uh, and here's your uh, your blower parts. There, there's another bumper. I think there's that's like three bumpers. There's your grill, 65 grill. And what else, what we got down here? This is the chrome piece for the uh, front of the hood. And yep, tail lights. Oh, easy now. Okay, rear view mirror. Another shifter, some sweet finned valve covers right there. Yes, I'm using those. Uh, looks like some gauges right here, I think so. And then uh, there's them door handles. Yeah, he said, don't use the nippers taking them off because those are fragile. That's Italian. Uh, blower part, blower hat, beautiful. I love that right there. And your blower. Let's see what we got here. We got us a set of wipers right here. And here we got the wheels. And I'll tell you something. These wheels are too cool. I believe that'd be a subframe exhaust pipes roll bar uh not sure have to look into that steering linkage ladder bars uh possibly end of the exhaust but i'm not sure on that one neither uh Straight axle, maybe? Straight axle? That might be straight axle. Here we have some wheelie bars. Oh, yes, I'm using that stuff. These, I'm not real sure on these, but I will find out. That, I believe, is a magneto or a coal, possibly. Water pump, uh, blower belt, and pulleys. Here we have the drive shaft, rear leaf springs. I think I got everything on that tree. So here we have the shortened rear end. We have the steering wheel. That looks to be a, okay, that's your front leaf springs for your straight axle. Uh, here we've got a tie rod. Here we have Okay, here we got a set of heads. Uh, here we got the headers. Down here we got the seats. 
uh, radiator hoses. That's your uh, blower intake right there. Plenum or whatever they call it. Looks like we got a cooling fan right here. Some disc brakes. I believe this is uh, for the roll bar. Part of the roll bar. I believe that's what that is. So, some killer parts, y'all. Anybody that hasn't built a Mobius kit, this is their instructions, man. They are sweet. I mean, talking about detailed, I mean, they're just as plain as they can be. And then you turn it around and you get this. This is what I'm thinking, y'all. I've got three colors down here and whichever one that I choose, I'm going to have this as the base, silver leaf, TS30, Tamiya. All right. So my first choice, this is the paint that was used on the 55 Lincoln Futura. It is metallic. And all I did was put white primer and then this right here, no silver leaf or nothing. And it, it looks beautiful on the car, but I believe it would bring more of a, a pop to the 65 Chevy two gasser. So this one I'm feeling strongly about. Another one that I'm considering still with the silver leaf base, is this one. Good old flaming orange. And I believe these together would really pop. And also the decal that I'm going to use, which is the two hot ones, are like yellow and orange and some red. So orange or red, I could get away with very easily. So... This is a good possible too. And I have one last one that I have considered uh, doing it in. I got this for the canned heat uh, show rod. But this is another one that I am looking at as a possibility over that silver leaf still. That's a sweet color, I think. And I haven't, I don't think I've done anything yellow in quite a long time. So that is a very good possibility. So to decide whether it's going to be red, orange, or yellow. The red is cool. Although I've already used it on the Lincoln Futura, that really doesn't matter. But it's cool, and I know that it's going to pop really good and, and probably go pretty good uh, with the decals. The orange, also, I'm thinking real long and hard about this one. And then there's the yellow. I love that idea. Some people don't like a yellow car. I do. I think yellow looks cool. I think it's one of your cool colors so which one's it going to be i'll get the manager in here pick one for which car let me look at the shape of it come down here and introduce yourself you're the manager hello my daughter brie She's the manager of the shop. Now, here's, here's what I'm looking at, okay? This is what we painted your grandpa's 55 Lincoln Futura, okay? So, I've used it recently. That really don't matter. Each one of them, whatever one I use, is getting this as a base, which makes it boom, okay? 
I so like my choice too, I think. This would be killer though. You say orange? Yeah. I mean if you wanted to add yellow on the hood. Well you do yellow on the hood. Well the there's de orange. there's decals. I don't even know if I can get to them right. Oh yeah, right there they are. And I'll show you the ones I'm using. I'm using those. Now, with that orange, what do you think? Huh? Did you show them this? I did, but you can't. Yeah. I showed it to them. I'm thinking to, to go with the too hot. Where do these go on? They go on the, they go. Uh, on the sides? Mm-hmm. Like that right there. Yeah, I would do orange everywhere and then yellow on the hood. Yellow on the hood? Yeah. Can I do black on the hood? No. <laughs> How you about said that? You just... wanted yellow. I don't need it that I don't want it that bad. I've got yellow right there. Look here. You think that'll Yeah, looks good. Thank you, my lady. Well, y'all, you all heard it from the manager's mouth. This car will be good old testers, extreme lacquer, flame and orange. Yep, there's plenty enough to paint it with, too. So, boom. I hope I haven't bored y'all too bad. Uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So, the decision's been made. I hope y'all are looking forward to this build as much as I am. I'm excited. I am really excited. I love a little Chevy 2 Nova. I used to own one back in the day. It was a crew cab, but I thought it was cool at the time. It had a little six cylinder in it and it had air shocks. And the previous owner who, I knew the car when I was in high school, uh, a, a boy that uh, I went to school with owned the car and I didn't know it, but he when he painted it, it was baby blue and it looked good too. It was painted with house paint. <laughs> I found that out the hard way the first time I went. I took it to the car wash. I got the sprayer out there and paint started flying off the trunk. So I'm just, I'm excited again after that low, low last night. But I appreciate y'all joining me for this unboxing video and some, some rambling on and some whatever I've done. I hope I've entertained you at least. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video, on me. If anyone wants to swap shop cards with me, I'll put my email up right about there. And you can send me an email saying, I'd love to swap shop cards with you, or I'd love to have one of your shop cards. If anybody wants Papa Dog's signature, Send me an email. Let me know. So until the next one, this is T-Dog saying God bless y'all. Keep on building.